I knew something was wrong. I knew something was off. I just didn't know what to do. Sex trafficking can happen anywhere, but most recently in Blunt County. The TBI says officials arrested these four men Friday on charges of trafficking minors and promoting prostitution. Now, many of you commented on our article saying you thought you saw these men around the area, but didn't know how to identify them as sex traffickers. 10 News reporter Shannon Smith spoke with local experts about the signs to look for to help prevent trafficking. Shannon. Robin, John, the Community Coalition Against Human Trafficking in South Knoxville is getting more referrals than ever before. And that doesn't mean there are more victims, but instead more people reporting the crime. And the coalition says that is a big step. Human trafficking continues to be a problem in East Tennessee. Victim advocates say it's more common than people think. These are uh, neighbors and boyfriends and sometimes family members uh, who are trafficking the individuals in our community. Natalie Ivey with the Community Coalition Against Human Trafficking says many people witness trafficking without even realizing it. Students that they had in their class 30 years ago or a patient that they had 15 years ago and uh, they'll come and talk to me afterwards and say, you know, I knew something was wrong. I knew something was off. I just didn't know what to do. Ivy says if you see something that seems off, report it. The two most powerful things that our community can do is first to accept that it's happening here, which is a difficult thing to do, uh, but then to pay attention to your surroundings. The most noticeable sign of a trafficker in their victim is the way they interact in public. You might see kind of a weird behavioral dynamic between two individuals, so controlled speech, or maybe one individual isn't able to speak on their own at all. Um, maybe one individual is not making eye, to eye contact or, um, you know, initiating conversation. Ivy says there's no one look for a potential trafficker. They try their best to blend in. We know them. Uh, we live next to them. We work with them. Uh, these are members of our community. Look carefully. Watch body language. Don't hesitate to report something, but also don't intervene. The likelihood that you're going to help someone is probably slim to none but the likelihood that you could cause harm to yourself or someone else is pretty high. If you believe you've seen or know a victim of human trafficking, report what you know to the Tennessee Human Trafficking Hotline. That number's on your screen.